I uh, bet. Okay, quickly. So before we get into this video, guys, I need you guys to do me a massive, massive favor. You see this merch? If you haven't got it, buy it. I'm gonna open link in the new tab. Show you guys exactly what the heck is going on. Uh, obviously, my girlfriend showed it in one of the videos before. I'm always wearing it as well nowadays. In fact, you guys can see me right here. Don't mind everyone behind me begging for the the star egg because I can't give it to them in this game, so everyone's a bit upset. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so make sure you guys get your TG merch and let's just get straight on into this video Also, if you haven't done so already follow me on Roblox man. We're nearly at 107,000 followers bro. That's insane That's uh, yeah, we're so close to 107,000 followers. That's absolutely insane And maybe I might even follow one of you guys uh, back if you are lucky All right, Anyways, welcome back to the brand new video on the channel uh, in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get ne uh, neon mythics or just neon fish uh, in general uh, how you would go about getting neon fish. It's pretty similar to how you would go about getting uh, Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I ate so much food <laughs> It's pretty similar to how you'd go about getting uh, mythicals and rare fish and, and, and stuff, uh, stuff like that but the only difference here is That you won't actually know it's a mythic uh, a mythic you won't actually know it's a neon until you've actually well until you've caught it so right now i've got an empty inventory i've not got anything in here right now i'm going to take you guys over to my aquarium really really quickly and just show you guys if you don't know what neons look like or don't know how to know whether you've caught one or not i'm going to literally show you guys how you uh how you how you basically determine sorry oh my god so much indigestion right now <laughs> how you basically determine uh what is what wait can they get me in here can they stalk me in here Oh god, okay, yes they can. We should have some neons in the back. So these ones are, let's just look at the candy fish for example. These are obviously plain candy fish. If you guys played the, um, the April Fool's update, you'd know that these are just plain candy fish. These aren't neons. And neither are any of these fish over here. These are all plain fish. What we're going to do is we're going to go to the back. Oh, whoops. We're going to go to the back over here. I do love how you can play this game in first person. I love how you can play um, most Roblox games in, third, in first person. I think it's really, really cool. Obviously, as you guys can see, we've got two neons right here. And there is clearly... Uh, a visual difference in what it like makes it a neon and what makes it not a neon obviously candy fish there was just there was pretty plain and then uh, the neon candy fish as you guys can see the mythical neon candy fish right there the purple candy fish you can see it's got some neon sparkles on it like some neon scales and you can see the red one the gray one up there pretty simple basic gray fish but then it's got the uh, the red scales on it and then obviously down here we've got the simple white one which is uh, pretty basic and then you've got the red scales in it which makes it a white neon candy fish so now we know what kind of uh like what to look for when you're looking for for the for the neon fish we're gonna get straight on into this video now there is no guarantee i'm gonna catch a neon fish in this video but obviously if you follow all the secrets and steps i'm gonna show you guys um and explain to you guys it will increase uh, increase jeez louise i could not speak today boy i i, I take like four days off of making a video Okay, maybe like a week. <laughs> Don't make a video for like a week. I come back, I can't even speak. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, if you guys follow these steps, you should. it should definitely increase your chances of getting some neons. Now, I'm going to quickly pop into my inventory as well. The last thing I'm going to show you guys. Uh, so, I'm going to go to um, my index, my fish's index. And we're going to actually, if we click on some of the fish, you'll see that there are different variations now. So, we're going to go to, let's for example say... Uh, the red rockfish. Obviously, I've actually caught a neon rockfish. I caught a, a huge red uh, neon uh, rockfish. Now, I don't know which ones are rare. I don't know if, like, the further down the line they are, like, different colors or di different rarities, but I definitely know that it's just possible to get all of these. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the to the rarest spots or the best fishing spots. So, I'm going to grab my fishing locator. So, this brings me on to tip number one, if you guys haven't got a fish locator, uh, yeah, the Fishmaster 2.0, I really, really think you should get it. I'm going to pop over to the shop real quick, and I'm actually going to check how much it costs real quick. Alright, uh, E, talk, uh, yes, and we're going to go to special items, we've got creature locator, and we've also got Fishmaster 2.0. Okay, so that was a waste of my time, I can't check how much this actually is. Um, someone tell me how much the Fishmaster 2.0 is. How much is the fish master 2.0 question mark? Okay, so that's 5k gems. That was so complicated to do. If I could show you guys the footage of how complicated it was to get the price of that item, uh, you would you would smash the like button on this video. So that being said, guys, destroy the heck out of the like button on this video if you haven't done so already. Also, subscribe, turn your notifications on if you've not done that uh, already. And if you are new to the channel, drop a comment down below saying that you're new 
and someone from the TG squad will welcome you. I want you guys to welcome each other, make friends, and I will also reply to a comment and maybe shout you out in the next video. So yeah, that's the first tip of this video. You, you probably should have this tracking device. Now, as you guys can see, when I equip the tracking device on my map, you guys can see, a wow, man, there are so many spots. There are actually so many spots. What, what are we gonna be doing for this? Oh no, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be catching everything. I feel like my frames are kind of low right now. Like they're not low, but like, I don't know, man. I feel like turning is really slow. It's not, that's so weird. Like my mouse just feels like it moves really slow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, all right, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, we're gonna fish right here. We're gonna start fishing right here. First things first, you wanna make sure you have the fishing device. I'm gonna catch everything just for the sake of this video, like I said, because we are looking for neon fish. We're not looking for, uh, for rare fish in particular, but we're looking for the neon fish. And this is actually another thing. I don't know if it's actually proven, um, the thing about the Fishmaster. Like, I don't know if neon fish actually count as rare fish. I will need to find out and do some research. I need to find out and do some research for you guys. Um, but if they do count as rare fish, then the, the Fishmaster locator will, uh, will help you. If they don't count as rare fish, then uh, the Fishmaster tip is kind of, uh, kind of pointless. But I think just to outrule outrule any possibilities of you know not catching them or just making how can i explain this just to make it more possible and with no excuses of, of not catching them i guess you might as well have the fish master 2.0 it just makes a lot of sense anyways even if it doesn't work i don't see why it like it won't be beneficial anyways i mean yeah, at least it'll help you get uh, the rare like the rarer versions of the neon fish so like the mythical sunfish for example because there are neon uh, fish in that well, in that, uh, in that fish type as well. In fact, let me quickly... We've got a new fish type. Uncommon angelfish. Uh, I wonder if... I wonder if... Where even is the angelfish though, bro? Okay, so we haven't got an angelfish uh, neon yet. But, I must say, these do look really, really cool. And as for the sunfish, this is what the sunfish looks like. If it's neon, so pink, blue, yellow. Uh, as you guys saw in the other thumbnail for my neon fish video. Ah, okay, my FPS seems to have improved. Interesting. I'm not too sure why it dropped. And then when I go back to spawn... Oh, wait, it kind of... Yeah, it drops again. Interesting. Uh, okay, I don't really know why I'm lagging right now, but it's whatever. Uh, second tip I want to uh, talk to you guys about is your rod. Now, again, I don't know if any of this is actually proven, um, but I seem to have a decent chance of getting some neon fish. I've got a few so far. Um... And even when it came to the, the candy the candy fish, I managed to get quite a few neon uh, fish in that as well. I think I got two or three. Yeah, I definitely got, I got around three, so that's not too bad. And I only spent about half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, okay, no, that was a lie. I spent about, I think it was two hours. I think it was two hours to get three neon fish, so it wasn't too, too bad. Um, obviously, I got max rarity chance. I don't think hook speed, reeling speed, and strength matters on this, but rarity chance, if neon fish, again, if they do count as rare fish, you want to have as much... Uh, rarity chance on your rod as possible and speaking of rod that brings me on to the third tip uh you should you should probably have the best possible rod now if you guys are looking for neon fish you uh, uh chances are you you know you've played this game for a while and you're already you know you've got some experience under your belt and you've got a bit of coins now guys you probably should spend these coins on these chests uh, over here uh, you want to get the best possible rod obviously in the game the best possible rod is actually if we go to skins the best possible rod is the magic rod but even if you can't get the magic rod i think there is one with more rarity as well that's the secure branch and the secure branch will be just as good as the magic rod uh when it comes to getting neon fish if and i say again if if it is the case that neon fish count as rare fish wow oh my god these guys follow me are, are making me lag so much <laughs> this is crazy this is crazy bro oh my days i think that's pretty much it for like the, the main tips, like there's three top tips for getting neon fish. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now, bro. I'm lagging so bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's so many people on my boat. Oh my days, guys. Destroy the like button if you've not done so already. Subscribe to the notification on. I'll see you later on for another brand new video on the channel. Wow, man. I'm lagging so much. Also, if you guys do want the egg, I might do a live stream. Or if you catch me in any other games other than Fishing Simulator uh, that are in the egg hunt, then obviously I'll shoot the egg. Um, if possible, but I can't shoot the egg in here. So uh, that kind of sucks. Anyways, happy Easter. Make sure you guys are staying safe, staying home. See you guys later on for another brand new episode on the channel.